Hey friends and fellow crafters, welcome to the DM's Craft. Today DM Scotty is going to show you how to make a billowing fire. It's going to be really cool. It's a combination of different techniques. Uh, one of them is an old war gamer's trick. Uh, another one is the tea lights that I love to use. Another one is my fire, uh, my glue gun fires that I've done before. So it's, we're going to bring all this together into a cool package of a billowing fire, billowing light up fire. So let's hit the table and uh, DM Scotty will show you how to do that. To start the project, we're going to need some polyester fill, and they have tons of different brands. You can get it at just about any fabric store or craft store. And we're going to grab a piece about the uh, size of my hand, and we'll hit the spray area and show you how to uh, fix that up for your uh, billowing fires. So here we are. I'm going to use yellow first. I've got my piece of uh, poly here, and I've got a glove, so when I move it around, I won't get paint on me. And make sure it's all covered with the yellow, nice and nice and covered. Then I'm going to use a red and start... Uh, hitting some areas with red. And I, my goal isn't to cover the whole thing up, just to uh, make some of the areas look red, a different color. So now I'm gonna use black and just start uh, hitting the top of that. So it looks like uh, a nice variation of fire there. Uh, that's, that's nice how it is, but we're gonna ramp it up to 11. So I'm gonna use, uh, I've used a plastic sheet and this was like a report cover and I've just taken my glue gun and gone up and down on the plastic with the glue gun. You guys have seen me do this technique before. Uh, to make fires and I just did a long strip of that okay so now I'm going to cut these out so I just use my regular scissors and just cut it from the plastic now there's the bottom now the top is going to be jagged like fire so I'm going to kind of go between uh, the crevices that I made when I did the glue gun so it doesn't have to be perfect You'll probably end up with a little bit of plastic left, and I'll just cover those uh, tips with the glue gun if I need to. So any anything that's uh, just uh, plastic and maybe not some glue, glue totally going to the top, I can use the glue gun and just pull it up, fill those in. Nice. Now I'm going to paint it. I've got my fire colors, bright yellow, orange, and red, uh, true red. And I'm going to water that yellow down because I don't want it to be too thick because I want the light to shine through it, right? But I want it to look like fire when the light isn't necessarily on it. Okay, so I'm going to paint that yellow. And I got my strip all painted yellow. I'll start adding some, uh, well, a sec here. Start adding some orange in there. There we go. And start adding some red. Not too much red. You don't want, you don't want a ton because the red is the, the darkest color. You don't want to cover up your, uh, the clearness or the translucentness of the uh, piece. Now I've just got a tea light and I'm going to pop off the top casing with a screwdriver. There we go. Now I've just got the base with the light and the switch. That's all I need. All right, cool. Now I'm going to glue the light uh, with the hot glue gun because it's just got two wires holding it up, and I want it to be nice and secure because I'm going to be jamming the uh, polyfill into the into the fire itself. So I don't want to break the light off by mistake or anything like that. So I'm just it's just extra security, uh, just securing the light to the base. Make sure you don't glue the switch. <laughs> Okay, now I've pre-cut a piece of fire uh, that I painted, it's dry, and I measured it around, then I cut it, okay? So it'll be like that. And now I just need to attach it. So I'm gonna use my glue gun, just go around, and be careful you don't glue yourself to it, and then glue the end there, and bam, you got a nice uh, fire going on there. Now we'll hit the table and see how that looks like on the table. It's gonna be, I think you're gonna be really impressed. Here we have the start of a sad scene. Our adventurers stumble onto it. Uh, we got this uh, uh, burned charred house we got going on here. So let's uh, look at our fire. We got our uh, fire uh, base here. And we'll take our polyfill and just shove it into that hole and uh, turn it on. And look at that effect. Really, really cool. We'll just put that by the tree like the tree's on fire. And uh, now we'll get our other one and do the house. So here's another another base. We'll just shove it in there and turn it on. 
and look, the light lights up all that fire and then actually goes up into the into the filler. So what a great effect. I love this. Let's turn out the light and get a better look at this. So we've dimmed the lights a bit and I uh, just think that's a really cool effect. You can dim it at your table so the effect's even better. Uh, just so cool. Uh, really adds a lot to this scene. Um, so there we go. Just you, It couldn't be simpler. You know, it's this old Wargamer trick with the with the uh, polyester uh, fill there and I just added the extra touch with the fire around the base with my uh, fire technique. So I think that the combination of the two just really gives a, a great billowing fire effect. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this craft, guys. Have fun. Take care. Hey, crafter. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, give your DM Scotty a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, we got a great group on there. Lots of uh, projects. Also, if you like the vid, why not drop a dollar in the chip jar? You can just click on the video and uh, tip the, directly to DM Scotty. And if you want to participate further, you can join Patreon and get uh, the Crafters Larry Month. It's a magazine I produce for my uh, Patreon friends. And I want to say, uh, last but not least, go forth and craft. Yeah. Have fun crafting, guys. Hey crafters, I wanted to show you this amazing picture that Brian Humble did of uh, Roderick uh, tracking your very own DM Scotty. I guess it's deserved after all the uh, trouble and hard knocks I put Roderick through in all these videos that I've put him in. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, Roderick's Revenge. Uh, really cool picture. I want to thank you again, Brian. Uh, one last thing I want to show you, though, was that he uh, documented the, the journey of this picture uh, through the different stages until it became the finished piece. And he posted most of those pictures in the group. And I want to do an, an homage to Brian uh, and his work uh, by deconstructing the picture and going back to the very basics with all the uh, pictures that he posted. So let's do that now with his montage.